Hello again! I'm here to show you how to install Octane on a MacBook Pro that's running Ventura. So this is my machine, I'm on a M1 Max. Please make sure you're on an Apple Silicon device or this is not going to work. The first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description, which will have the link in order to click and download Octane. So if you just go to here, click accept and then click download. It's going to ask me to save it somewhere, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. And whilst we're doing that, I'm going to go to my applications and I'm going to find Cinema 4D 2023, which is where we're going to be installing this plugin. So if you just find where the plugins folder is, I'm going to change the view so we can see the actual tree of where the file folder needs to be saved. It's going to be under plugins and in a folder that's called Cinema 4D Octane. I've already got this because I've installed the plugin before. However, if you haven't got this, just make sure that your folder structure looks like mine. So once it's downloaded, we're going to unzip it. And once we've unzipped it, we want to open it. And once we've opened it, we've got them side by side. So if you just open that folder and the one that we have here. So this is my old plugin, and I'm actually going to delete that. So I'm going to right click on it and move to bin. Next, we're going to take all of these things that are in this folder that we've unzipped, and we're going to right click and we're going to copy and we're going to paste it into here. So let's just right click and paste all of the items that came in from that zip folder. Well, it's going to take about five seconds. So now that we're here and we've got all of our files in this Cinema 4D plugin, we actually don't need all of them. So I'm going to change this to icons. Yeah, let's change this to icons. So the way this works is that we actually just need to have the right xlib file for our version of Cinema 4D. So we've got Cinema 4D 2023, so I just need to keep this one. However, if you're running R25 or R26, you want to keep those xlib files instead. So I'm going to select the two that I don't need and move to bin. So I should only have four things. Let me just, what do I do? I click clean up. Is it clean up? Yeah, clean up by name. So we should only have four things, which is the xlib file, the dlib, the dat, and the res folder. Those are the only four things that should be in your Cinema 4D Octane. Just make sure it looks like this, please, or else it's not going to work. So we've installed our plugin, and now all I'm going to do is fire up Cinema 4D. And hopefully, because we've installed the plugin, everything's going to go great, and I'm going to be able to drink my cup of tea and continue about my day. However, lo and behold, we have the malicious software bug. So this is nothing to worry about. Apple cannot verify that the software, for some reason, isn't verified by Apple. For me, my issue is that even if I go to the privacy and security settings, I can't actually find the button to enable this to work. It's happened with all the other versions of Octane that I've ever tried to install, so don't worry about it because there's a really quick workaround. So just to show you what I mean, even if I press OK and I press OK and I try and get it to work and I just wait for Cinema 4D to do its thing and once we've loaded it up, you'll see that Octane doesn't actually show up in the top right where it should be. And up here it says plugin not found, so this is not what we want. However, let me just show you the really quick workaround that you need to do, which is called to notarize the plugin. I don't know what that means, but all you have to do is find the folder of where you've installed the plugin. So that for us, it's Cinema 4D and Octane. You want to go to your terminal to open the launch pad and go to your terminal. And in here, we just want to type in a very, very, very simple thing. So what we're going to type is all lowercase X A T T R space dash C R and space, and then drag and drop the Cinema 4D folder directory into here and press enter. If it comes up showing a new blank line, that means you've done it correctly. And if it gives you a whole bunch of other stuff, that means you've put the command in wrong and you just need to type it out again. But just copy and paste this because I'll put this in the description of this video as well. So now that we've done this, that means I can close out those things. I'm just going to minimize them and I'm going to open Cinema 4D. And lo and behold, if I just pray and thank all the heavens. But yes, we should now have octane in the top right so i'm just going to open a file that i was just working on which is the apple logo and at the top right you'll see octane i'm going to get the live view window open and i'm just going to drag and dock it on the left hand side and if i and just you should now see render, octane is working now on see your octane laptop. is working yes on your laptop. so simple yes. so easy to do. so simple um so yeah, easy to do that's it um yeah i've got nothing else to say um watch my other stuff thanks watch my other stuff thanks